Floods of Believe Land Media here for the Southeast Pirates 2023 football preview. I'll be talking with some of the key seniors returning for this year's team, as well as head coach Pat Yule. Floods of Believe Land Media here at the Southeast Pirates football preview, and with me I have wide receiver Case Myers. How you doing, Case? Doing good, you? Doing good. So how's uh, camp going so far for you? Uh, camp's doing going pretty well, you know. The energy's overall high. Everybody's really excited. The linemen are kicking butt as usual, so excited for the season. Now for you, you were the leading receiver last year. Um, you guys lost a lot of a lot of team leaders, a lot of senior leaders from last year. You being a returning senior starter, uh, you're looking to take upon a, a leadership role yourself this year. For sure, I had a lot of role mo models my sophomore, junior year. You know, all those guys really showed me what leadership really was. So my main goal this year is just to be the best leader I can for these guys. How about uh, personal goals for yourself in your senior season? Do you have any personal goals? You know, obviously don't get injured. That's yeah. Everybody wants to stay away from that. Uh, just want to be the best version of myself. Be a good teammate. You know keep it the morale high even whenever everything's going wrong so some personal goals all right how about for the uh, the team this year team goals uh, what are you guys looking to do uh you know we, we don't like to talk about uh records or anything like that we, we just want to be the absolute best version of ourselves everybody's working hard in the weight room you know we want to we want to come out and we want to win week one obviously everybody wants to win but uh just overall be the best that we can you know so. chasing perfection Week one, just over a week away. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm excited. Nervous, but I'm excited. All right, I appreciate you taking yeah. a few minutes with me. Thank you. you ready? Have, Have a good, good one. Sleds of Believe Land Media here at the Southeast Football Preview with Zach Tassine and Preston Bellow. Uh, how you guys doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, I think I think we've grown a lot this offseason, and I'm really excited for our, our front five, six, seven guys. So. All right. Anything you guys uh, in particular worked on to improve your game this offseason? Uh, we lifted a lot. I mean, I know he lifts a lot at home with the, his dad and stuff. I mean, but just coming to the lifts with the team and everything, growing together. Yeah, this off season, I really, I really wanted to get better. Um, I did. I put a lot of work in in the weight room. Um, I went to a lot of football camps. You know, worked on offensive and, and defensive drills. Really <clears throat> trying to get better. So. So as a whole, how's the uh, the line looking this year? You think? Pretty good, actually. It's uh, we we, we said this before. Uh, we've been playing together since we were in kindergarten. So. It's the first time we've really all gotten to play together, though, truly on the same line. We've had a lot of people in front of us, so it's been tough, but now we finally get to play together. Yeah, for sure. We have a lot of chemistry. We have a lot of, we have a lot of tough guys on our line, and I think, I think we can do some harm this season. So. Did you guys set any personal goals for yourselves this season? You know, we just want to win the big games. You know, we want to compete. Mogador, JFK, those are always our tough games. And, but also we want to win against the new opponents. We've never played Wycliffe. We've never played Matthews before go out win and most importantly just have fun yeah as as for myself goal wise you know obviously I want to have a great season you know I have you know, specific goals for myself but as a team I really want to win I want to win bad like, I want to win a lot, of, a lot of games this season um, so so yeah I just I just really want to win that's my goal well, that's a good goal to have yeah. for sure. all right I appreciate you guys coming on with me thank you good luck this season this led to believe lane media here at the southeast pirates football preview and i'm here with kyle boer how you doing kyle pretty good how are you doing good how's uh camp going for you so far it's going pretty good real smooth anything uh particularly particularly you've worked on this off season or in camp to kind a of lot make of the pools better? getting tighter with my pools okay and getting real tight on defense how about uh, experience from last year? What can you take from last year to, to help you in this season? Uh, just be physical. That's all that I really need to do is I have everything pretty memorized. I just need to be physical. Okay. You set any personal goals for yourself this season? Mm -hmm. Get a lot of pancakes. Get a yeah. lot of sacks. Yeah, that's a good goal. Mm -hmm. sure. Make a lot of plays. So how do you like, what do you, what do you like playing better, offensive or, or defensive line? Uh, I like offense, offense a lot better. Yeah. You know what you're doing a lot more and you can just play free. How about the team? How how you guys looking this season? We're looking pretty good. Yeah. We're, we have a nice couple nice plays that we're gonna be able to do some good things with. All right. So you, are you looking to step up in a leadership role? I know you lost some leaders last year. Oh uh, yes, sir. Uh, we lost some good seniors last year, and they'll be missed this year. But the next person has to step up and run the team. So a little over a week away, week one. You ready? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Ready to kick off senior year. All right. I appreciate you taking time and yep. good luck. Thank you. Thanks.
Been sledge with Believe Land Media here at the Southeast Pirates Football Preview, and I'm with me. I have head coach Pat Yule. How you doing, Pat? Hey, Kevin. Thanks. I really appreciate you coming out and watching us today, and I'm doing well. Thanks. So, uh, how's how's things looked this off season and on into camp? Yeah, you know, I think every coach. Uh, I, I think we lead with this is cliche, right? But uh, we're getting better every day, um, and uh, really, really, really love my team. I was talking to Coach Jim France last night on the phone. Uh, he just called me and just you know checking in on our, our stuff and uh, I got 46 guys over there that that come every day um, and, and work really really hard and that's all I can ask of them and so um, you know they're fun to be around they work hard they want to get better every day and uh, so we're going to keep progressing um, and see where it all shakes down when it's all said and done. Okay so you lost some senior leaders from last year one of them was quarterback Randy Williams your, your dual threat um, Who's stepping up to replace him this year? Yeah, I, I, and, and really, Randy was obviously a, a, a huge asset for us, um, and, and he was a, he was an okay leader. And I don't mean that disrespectfully. He was, uh, but we really had some really good leaders in that group um, because they were a class that had been together. Uh, so Evan Riffle, Brady Corley, Carson Dunn, Matt Donovan, Randy, um, all of those guys. Uh, so um, I think this year, offensively. Uh, you know, we returned Case Myers, um, who had who had a really really good season. He kind of broke out in Week Three against Champion, and then from there, you know, continued to progress throughout the rest of the season. I think he ended up with like twelve or thirteen hundred yards of all-purpose yardage, receiving, uh, running, returning, and so um, he's he's going to be key for us. Uh, Antonio Mejia right now uh, and Joe Sherish are kind of running our offense. Okay. Uh, we have a freshman named Nate Rivera. Um, who's who's pretty good. He's he's going to be special, and he's already uh, getting reps with the varsity uh, on both sides of the ball, um, and he's adapting to the speed of the game, doing a really good job. Um, and then again, you know, running the single wing like we do, um, you know, Austin Mejia, Aiden McClellan, Dylan Donnell, uh, Peyton Donovan. Those are all guys that we're going to need to count on to carry the football. Um, but again, the guys up front for us offensively are going to be the critical pieces, right, of, of making sure we can – we can get uh, we can get our holes made and, and, and run through. How about uh, any underclassmen you could see surprisingly maybe stepping up this year? Uh, yeah, we're already surprised. I mean, we have a, we have 18 kids in our sophomore class. Um, so again, we have we have a lot of those kids that are that are playing right now or, or penciled in at varsity positions. Uh, Maverick Wood, outside linebacker, and going to run be a running back for us in offense. Uh, Landon Dursons right now penciled in as our as our center. Um, again, the Mejia brothers both played last year, but they're juniors. Um, so we've got a lot of young kids. Dylan Donnell's a junior, the leader of our defense. Um, you know, we've got some young guys uh, on the defensive line that are just battling for positions. And um, so, yeah, we're, we're, we, have, we have 11 seniors, um, which, which is great. We have nine juniors. Um, and, and my junior class is special because they are like the best of friends. Like all nine of them are always together. Um, all of them will contribute to, to our team this year, uh, starting in you know either two positions or, or on one side of the ball. So we feel like we have a really good mix of, of some upperclassmen and some guys uh, who played a lot of ball last year. And then uh, our underclassmen, uh, our sophomore class in particular, 
Um, again, 18 kids that they're getting better every day, whether it's on the scout team or, or, or repping a little bit with the varsity. But uh, but again, this team is, is just special. And, and, and again, you say that every year. And uh, it's, it's always tough, right? Because when seniors graduate, it's a bittersweet moment because it's your goodbye to them. It's they're gone. And um, but then the, the, the sweet part is, is that I get to come back and do it again and build some relationships with, right. with, with more kids that you've been that you've been dealing with in our OTOV culture and philosophy. So uh, just really, really uh, excited about this, this group, especially and uh, where we can go. So what are you looking to build on from last season into this season? Well, the first thing, and again, back to the cliche stuff, right? Culture, maybe the most overused word in our in our society, but I think uh, rightfully so, right? If you don't have the right culture, and um, you know, our guys have just bought into what we're doing um, the last four or five years. Uh, you know, again, OTOV is our mantra. It's one team, one vision. Um, they understand what it means, and, and obviously, I'm not going to say my mission statement on this or anything like that. But uh, if you came to our locker room, it's all over our locker room of, of what we're trying to do and what we're trying to accomplish with our uh, with our behaviors. And, and so that has just continued to grow every year, and the buy-in has become, um, you know, just so much uh, of an important things of uh, an important thing of what we do. Sure, we want to win every game we play. Um, everybody does, but but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, right? Uh, Twenty years from now, these guys are going to come back to their twenty-year class reunion, and they're not going to remember a lot of the wins and losses, um, maybe some of the big ones, but but they're going to remember the memories and, and, right. and some of the things that, that that have been stressed upon them. So uh, we just want to keep building off that, and then we just want to keep getting building off, getting better every day, right? I mean, I, I, this is our we have third year in a single wing, um, so obviously it, our middle school's been running it, so it's it's been a, a much easier transition for some of our young guys on JV too to. to to understand what we're doing um it's been a little less i don't want to say less teaching but you know they're understanding the concepts so we can fine tune some things um you know we're, we're getting to that that next level of it's just not understanding your assignment it's now why is my assignment there that's 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 big um but just keep keep growing uh, off of what we're doing in our program and uh again I'm, I, I i'm blessed to be the head football coach here and and um that i get to do this and i've been doing this now this is year 10 for me here which is crazy for me to think but yeah. just keep growing on that every day um and, and again and uh, growing OTOV and growing daily to get better in what we're doing. Well, a little over a week away from uh, week one. I'm sure these guys are ready to start hitting somebody else for a change. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know they are, and we got a scrimmage tomorrow night, so that'll be that'll be huge for us. Um, you know, see, kind of see where we are. We scrimmage field, really, really good field team, um, and, and, and we were happy uh, with some things and, and not so happy with others, and so we go to Berkshire tomorrow, and, and we'll, we'll try to get better. But, yeah, you know, that first week is exciting. Uh, like anything for us, you know, we have two two games and really three games where we were only in school for like three days. So um, as a coach, I don't mind that, to be honest. Uh, it makes my life easier, especially as the AD, um, to be able to prepare and, and do those um you know, do those day-to-day -day jobs that I have in other areas as an administrator and, and so on and so forth, but then also to, to prepare our team. And Wycliffe is a new opponent for us week one. We don't, I mean, obviously we've got a little bit of, of, of background on them. They scrimmage tomorrow, so we're going to go watch them. But, you know, again, that's that's always the unknown of, of, of who you're playing week one and, and what right. they do. And you think, you know, because maybe you've seen something from they've done last year, but are they the same team? And no one's really the same team, even if they're doing the same stuff. Um, so, uh, but yeah, we're really excited and, 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 and to get this thing rolling a hard to believe that we're rolling you know it's hard to believe two weeks ago that it was the start of fall sports <laughs> and it's even harder to believe that uh this is our last two a day um and our season you know so i'll tell this to our seniors today this will be the last two a day that they ever have in their careers as a southeast pirate and so it goes by fast and you know really the last you know week and a half hasn't felt like it's gone by fast it's been a grind but but here we are and and you know we're going to get off the field here in a minute and head in and take a little break and then you know got an hour and 10 minutes this afternoon and we're done we're gonna scrimmage and and get ready for Wycliffe all right good luck this season i appreciate it hey appreciate all you do kevin thanks Thank so you. much man thank you thank you